Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your December um, your December 15th through December 31st uh, mid-month reading. Now this is for the sign of Sagittarius. It may not resonate with you because it is for a general audience. This is not a private reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck. So whatever falls out, I'm just going to let fall out and we will use those. The first one fell out when I pre-shuffled before I turned the camera on. You can see that one right over there. I will focus the camera in once I have the uh, spread laid out. I'm only going to shuffle for a minute until the guides tell me to stop. Merry Christmas. Generally, my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. Okay, so the basis of your reading is the High Priestess, okay? So that tells me that you guys are seeing things pretty clearly at the end of December. There's like no illusions here. Your intuition is spot on. You're trusting your intuition. Perhaps a secret has come out. You knew this was going to happen. You know, you have this inner knowing that something was going to happen, going to come up, and it did, okay? It feels like, you know, you, you know exactly what is going on. I feel like, you know, there there's a period, there, you're dealing with somebody who is, um, can be spiteful, uh, vindictive, maybe even narcissistic, you know, they know it all. It's like you're dealing with a know-it-all, okay? We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, pretty prominently here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, pretty prominently. And unfortunately, these are all reversed. So there's a lot, this person is very, you know, into themselves, very, I know what's best, I don't care what you think, I'm going to, I'm going to put you down, they, they can be very, um, with their, when it's reversed, you know, they're going to, they don't think about the words that are coming out of their mouth, um, they're saying things out of spite, and they're very harsh, you know, words, they're not thinking before they speak, so I think that you're dealing with somebody that is hurting you verbally, it's like verbal abuse here, it could even be more than verbal abuse, it could be even physical abuse at this point, I mean, there's abuse here, okay, so there is abuse with these three cards being reversed, being reversed, some kind of abusive um, tendencies okay now I don't know who this is or who this is for but somebody is dealing with somebody who is either emotionally verbally mentally or physically abusive okay I feel like you know it's bringing some confusion there's some confusion here what do you do do you stay do you go how do you how do you get through this if there's a manipulation going on somebody is feeling down about themselves and so they are trying to bring that on to you by through manipulation okay you know they're trying to take control they're trying to control you by bringing you down and I'm sorry that this is the case but this is what I see I feel like um, it's impacting you at this point it's it's making you feel like you're doing something wrong like you're it's it's dulling your self-confidence your um, self-esteem you know it's bringing you down I think that somebody is really bringing you down it's making you very unhappy it's like dulling your shine it's like oh my god it's really overwhelming the feeling of despair that I feel from this I feel like somebody is really really hurting you emotionally and verbally especially and you know there's a it's a wake-up call it is a wake-up call you know it's time to move on it's you know it's time to cut this person out you time to let it go um, it's over it's over with this person and it's time for you to take a step in the direction that will heal you 
I feel like one chapter of your life is over, this negative phase, okay? It's time for you to open your eyes and step into your truth, okay? You are receiving a wake-up call. It's this, this behavior, whoever's treating you like this, is opening your eyes, okay? It's making you realize what you're worth. But to get there, you're going to go through a lack of self-worth because that's what they're doing to you. There, It is a narcissistic behavior. And this doesn't have to be a partner. It can be a sister, a brother, a mother, a father. You know, somebody that's in your life that is a, a, an employee, you know, an employer, a, a boss, sorry. You know, somebody is really cutting you down and making you feel like shit, okay? And it's really making you unhappy. You're, you're just like, oh my God, I've been trying so hard. I've been really trying so hard because I see that you have. You've tried to do everything to make this person happy. And no matter what you do, it's not happening. So now it's time to make a decision. The seven is a decision. The seven of cups. Do you decide to stay or do you decide to go? Is you know There is a decision to be made. So it's up to you. I feel like it is time to change your course, <clears throat> but you have to make the decision first. <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune is the cha a change of course, but unfortunately it's reversed because it's in your hands. You know, you've got this awakening, you've received this epiphany, you know that things need to change, that it's time to start this healing process, that your wish fulfillment is not here. Okay, you know that. You know that you were hoping that it was, but it's not. Okay, and now you finally come to the realization that you can't be stabbed in the back anymore. You cannot. This is not serving you well. So it's time to go down a new path, but, you know, there's some fear here. There's some fear of survival. How will I survive if I move on? Okay, um, but I, I really feel like you have some, some help from the other side, okay? So have faith that you do. I believe that you have some help from the other side. So... Just go with your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you. Please listen to it. Do not ignore it. Okay? I'm going to start shuffling the other deck, but this is very intense. I just feel like you have been hurt by somebody, and you're contemplating on how you are going to get out of this situation. You know, it's very hurtful because you have given it your all. You really have given this person a lot, and they are just taking advantage of your kindness. And that is very sad. It makes me sad. <laughs> so, I don't like it. It makes me sick, actually. It gives me a sick pit in my stomach. I, I just feel like, you know, wherever you're at, there's no future. It's time to free yourself from this situation, you know. There's no future wherever you're at with it, whoever this person is you're dealing with. Because they all they... You have to free yourself. This is about freeing yourself from this manipulative, um, harsh... Um, controlling abusive energy okay it's time to heal okay it is it's time for you to release this person from your life forgive them they know not what they do okay they don't even know what they're doing you know it's it's in, ingrained in them okay they don't realize how much they are hurting you and you can tell them until you're blue in the face what's not going to do any good because they don't see it this person does not does not have any remorse for their actions they don't they seriously think that you deserve what you get and the fact of the matter is you do not you do not deserve this so i'm here to tell you you do not deserve this kind of treatment okay Follow your inner guide. Your inner guide is telling you that you don't deserve this inner treatment. It is this inner treatment, this negative treatment, this abusive treatment, okay? Your inner guide is telling you that, but you've, you know, it's hard. It's, it's, it, there's, it's hard to leave a situation. There's no growth. There's lack of love. There's lack of, you're not getting what you want from this person. It's like they don't even see how much you care. You know, you want to free yourself, but you can't. It's like you don't have any place to go. You know, you'd like to do it right now, but there's no place to go. You know, there's you don't know what to do. It's like if I do this, you know, then what? 
you know, I just, there's like, a, I'm in survival mode at this point. Somebody is in pure survival mode. Okay. So it is time for a transformation. A cycle will end. So trust me with the moon card, a cycle will end. So have faith. Something is not as it seems. Okay. Something isn't. So it will come out. A secret will be revealed. It's pretty clear with this card, this card, and this card. A secret is going to come out about this person that is going to cause a transformation. But it's, it's not going to come out. I don't think it's going to come out at the end of December. I think this month you're going to have to push through it. And um, let me get the last card before I keep going. Ah, Libra! Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and many of you are dealing with a Libra, I have to tell you, okay, and this person is very not remorseful, they truly think that they know that they are right, I mean, they believe that in their heart, that they're right, you know, they, they don't realize the hurt that they cause that comes out of their mouth, okay, they, they think they know it all, I think you guys are dealing with a know-it-all, and it's really time for a change. It's time for you to end this relationship with this know-it-all. But the thing is, is you have to take action to do that. And I think that right now, you're in a predicament where you, you can't move on for some reason. For some reason, you're stuck there. I mean, you're you're being offered a new an opportunity to... To let go, but it feels like you can't let go for some reason. Out of fear. There's fear for some reason. You're afraid of this person or you're a, you have no place to go. It's like almost like you have no place to go. Um, you've been wanting more. You've been, you've been hoping. It feels like you've been giving them love. You've been giving them what you can give them and they just don't even see it. It's like they aren't reciprocating. They... They aren't seeing what you have to offer, and that's that's pretty devastating, okay? It's like they don't even realize. They don't even realize how much that you've given to this relationship, how much you've put into it. They just keep cutting you down, cutting you down, cutting you down, and you, you, but you, you just don't know, and that's what I hear. It's like you just don't know. You're no good. And you're not no good, by the way. It's like that's what they, you're no good. That's what they're making you feel like you're no good. But the fact of the matter is, is this is their karma, okay? Because there is karma here, okay? There is absolutely karma here. And what comes around goes around. So trust me, okay? Trust me, have faith, all right? This is all happening for a reason. For one thing, it's making you stronger, okay? It's making you stronger. It's, it's teaching you what you don't want, and it's teaching you how not to act, okay? And with this moon card, all right, there are hidden forces, okay? There is something unknown about this person, about this situation that hasn't come to light yet. It will come out. This person has their own fears, their own problems that they're trying to pro project onto you. But all is going to come out eventually. There is definitely karma here. And there, it will come to an end with this person because we have this card. It will come to an end because, you know, this this is false. The devil is, is fake. There's lies. There's deceit. There's... Um, manipulation, jealousy, you know, and, and it's not real, okay, whatever this is, it's not real, it will come to light and force a change, a change will come, have faith and trust, okay, the cycle will end eventually, right now, the only thing you can do is be cautious, be cautious, you know, watch your back with the moon card, watch your back, Okay, this person will stab you in the back quicker than shit. Okay, so Sagittarius, this is not what you wanted to hear, I'm sure, for the end of December. But I feel like, you know, you already know, you already know with this high priestess, a secret is about to be revealed. There's definitely no doubt that a secret is about to come out at the end of this month. That is going to cause some kind of shakeup, okay, with a narcissist. <laughs> and, you know, you're going to have to overcome it, 
all right? But you can remove yourself from the situation. That's all you have to do is remove yourself from the situation. Wow, that is not what I was looking for in a reading. But I think somebody must have needed to hear this, that it's not them. It's not you. It's not you. This person has problems, inner problems. It is absolute. They have issues. They have their own. And so they're trying to project, project it out onto you. You know, they're feeling lonely. They're feeling like they have nobody. They're feeling low. They're feeling like a piece of shit. So they want to make you feel like a piece of shit. Okay, so this person is actually the ass in this reading. It's not you. So rest assured that you will prevail. You will prevail. Karma is a bitch. Somebody's treating you like shit and it's going to come right back to them. Trust me. There's karma here. Big time karma here. Yes, sir. They could end up in trouble. Okay? They could end up in trouble. Not by you. You know, like I said, there's karma here. Something could happen to this person because they just go overboard. You know, with the, they seriously think that they know it all. And they don't care about feelings at all. Karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. I'm telling you what. It's going to get better. It is going to get better. You will eventually be able to free yourself. I do see freedom. You just have to take steps. This is freedom and this is freedom. So you do have the ability to free yourself. I just think that you can't do it at this moment. And you know, the universe with this card, there's something cooking behind the scenes that I don't know about that you don't know about. There's something cooking right now that's going to help fix this problem. Okay? So just rest assured. Something is going to happen to change this situation. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. What do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon the true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. Write the script. And this is already a written script as well. You write the script. Don't let anybody manipulate you and tell you you're wrong and that you can't do this and you can't do that. That's fucking bullshit. What do you desire? You write your script. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know, and know, that should be in capital letters, and know that you're ready and deserving of them, this person is making you feel unworthy. They're making you feel like you don't deserve shit. They're the ones that don't deserve shit. Believe me, karma's going to kick him right in the ass. Hard. Anyway, next one. From Archangel Michael. You and your loved ones are safe. My prayer. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities. To hell with this person. I would get away from them ASAP. 
start living your life. Anyway, that's not the reading I intended to give. <laughs> oh, it was heavy, but that's what you're going through. Okay, if somebody that is watching this is going through something with somebody who is quite narcissistic, okay, for lack of a better word, abusive in more than one way. And they are abusive because they have their own issues. And so they, because, you know, misery loves company. They're miserable. It's the holiday season. They've got nobody. And so they are pointing that shit at you. Chalk it up to, to some ass who's going to get uh, their karma. <laughs> so anyway, this is what I have, Sagittarius. I wish you a Merry Christmas. And don't let this person bring you down. This really is a good reading because you can take it as, you know what? Fuck you. Take your shit and shove it up your ass. And this video will be flagged, I'm sure. But it is what it is. Know that it's not you. I'm here to tell you that it is not you. Talk to you later.